I've been busy the past few weeks doing lots of thrust tests. I've messed around with a few different variables, including pitching and airfoil type, in order to find the most efficient configuration. First off, recall how a cyclocopter works. The blades revolve around the central axis, and they pitch every revolution in order to always have a positive angle of attack, which allows them to generate net upwards thrust. The cyclocopter's unique airflow gives it strange aerodynamic characteristics, most prominent being virtual camber. The top picture is what an outside observer sees, and it seems simple enough. However, the unique flow of a cyclorotor makes different parts of the airfoil experience different velocities. To roughly model this, just picture taking the top curvilinear flow and straightening it out while simultaneously bending the airfoil. The result is an airfoil with what is called virtual camber. Now, virtual camber is not necessarily bad. You can see that at the bottom of the rotation, it increases the camber and therefore the thrust that is generated. But at the top, the virtual camber is bad because it gives the airfoil a bit of negative camber, which reduces thrust. I set up an experiment in an attempt to mitigate the virtual camber. I got two different airfoils, one symmetrical, and one that's cambered just enough to cancel out the virtual camber. I ran them both and collected the thrust produced, power consumed, and the resulting efficiency. Highlighted is the airfoil without camber. You can see that it performed well compared to the airfoil that cancels out the virtual camber. The specs are almost identical. However, you can see that it is much better than the airfoil that increases virtual camber. I thought that I'd try this negative camber because virtual camber increases the effectiveness of the airfoil at the bottom of the rotation, so more camber might increase efficiency. It just turns out that it decreases thrust. I'm curious to see if the ideal amount of camber is somewhere between no camber and the positive camber that I tried, so in the future I plan to test that out. For now though, I'm satisfied with the thrust I'm getting and I am starting a quad rotor cyclocopter. I know that I've been saying that for a while now, but I promise that I actually mean it this time. I have lots of time to work on it, so hopefully a new video with flight should be up next weekend. See you then.